Morning Prayer on the 21st of August. This week, reading from Time to Pray from the Church of England. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains, forgive the sins of all your people, make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save us and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Psalm 23. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. O God, our sovereign and shepherd, who brought again your son Jesus Christ from the valley of death, comfort us with your protecting presence and your angels of goodness and love, that we also may come home and dwell with him in your house forever. A reading from Isaiah 57, verses 15 to 19. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with those who are contrite and humble in spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. 
for I will not continually accuse, nor will I always be angry, for then the spirits would grow faint before me, even the souls that I have made. Because of their wicked covetousness, I was angry. I struck them, I hid and was angry, but they kept turning back to their own ways. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will lead them and repay them with comfort, creating for their mourners the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to the far and the near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Jesus said, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And so we come before God in prayer. Today, remembering the Queen, members of Parliament, and the armed forces. Praying for peace and justice in the world. We bring before God those who work for reconciliation in all fields. For all whose lives are devastated by war and civil strife. We pray for prisoners, for refugees and homeless people, that you would be their hope. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the benefits that you have won for us, for all the pains and insults that you have borne for us. Most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen.